Welcome back to another video on the Rigel DHO 800 series and if you haven't already seen my review video of this new oscilloscope series from Rigel I'm gonna link it on screen I've also done a video on how to add Wi-Fi via this very uh, simple hack I'm a happy user of the scope since then and if you're looking to get one check out lshop.eu I got mine from them and it's excellent service. This video is about something that I've been wanting to do for a long time even before uh, getting the Rigel DHO 800 series but now it's even easier to do that uh, because this uh, new Rigel oscilloscope comes with a uh, standard uh, visa mount on the back. So imagine that instead of keeping the, the scope on, uh, on the shelf occupying uh, that space and constantly moving it around between that shelf space and bench level whenever I need to do some close-up work I could instead have it installed on an articulated arm uh, via this uh, standard visa mount and I could have it swing in and out of my work area as needed and this as you may be aware is just one of the advantages of the new Rigel DHO 800 series which I've discussed in the review video there are of course other benefits discussed technical benefits which are discussed in great detail in the review so I encourage you to check it out if you're in the market for a new oscilloscope the sponsor of this video is PCBWay.com, a professional PCB manufacturer with excellent quality and fast turnaround times. From two layers to advanced multi-layer flex rigid PCBs, PCBWay will have you covered. You could also try the new module store on their website whereby using bonus points or cash, you can purchase a great variety of electronic modules and related tools. Check out their website linked below. So as you may be aware, there are several options in terms of monitor arms. There are the really expensive ones with gas struts and multiple articulating points to very cheap ones with less articulated joints and using springs for tensioning. The choice is yours, but you need to be aware of their weight range. And typically you will have trouble with the minimum weight. So the scope weighs just 1.5 kilograms approximately. You attach it to your monitor arm and it will just stay propped up it won't have enough weight to balance the tension of the arm. Personally, I opted for this uh, simple uh, arm. It's uh, spring-based, uh, doesn't really articulate much, uh, but I think it's the perfect fit for my setup. The part number on this is McLean MC45A, and although I'm not sure you'll find it under the same name on your local market, I paid $30 for this, you might find an identical looking arm on your local market or supplier and it might be sold under a different brand with a different logo and a different price. For yeah. this particular monitor arm they do specify the maximum weight to be 7 kilograms and the minimum weight to be 2 kilograms. So we're definitely under the specified minimum weight but it's really hard to find a monitor arm that's designed to hold anything less than 2 kilograms because monitors usually weigh more than 2 kilograms. The worst case scenario if your oscilloscope is too light for the monitor arm of your choice you can add some artificial weight for example uh, one option is to obtain some of these wheel weights which are typically used to balance wheels on your car and these should be very cheap or you might even get them for free if you're maybe regularly tipping your local tire shop guy. So you can stick these to the back of the visa mount to artificially increase the weight until it balances nicely with the force of the arm springs. My plan is to attach this arm on one of the vertical uh, poles on the side of my workbench. These are the uh, thickest aluminum profiles that I've used. And if you're curious about this workbench, I've done an entire video on this, which I'll link on screen. It's Vollog 377 where I discussed the details of building this one-of-a-kind workbench. It's been almost three years since I've built it and I'm super happy. It was the best decision ever. I was lucky enough to order my aluminum profiles right before the prices started going crazy. So it was well worth it for me, both financially and in terms of the uh, result I got because uh, this workbench is super strong and uses my available space most efficiently and it gives me flexibility for adjustments and future upgrades like this one. I mean take this monitor arm for example I can use 
the standard aluminum profile channel spring nuts. I can use the same M8 bolts that I've used throughout the build and I can assemble it in no time. So I'll fast forward this part because it can be boring watching me attach a couple of bolts. One thing to be aware when you're screwing the visa mount to the back of the scope is the length of the screws you're using because some of these threaded holes are uh, leading straight into the heatsink that goes over the motherboard and they're open on the bottom so using a screw which is too long could certainly push into the heatsink and possibly damage uh, something inside your scope. I'm not sure if there's a standard that they uh, follow but it seems like the screws included with my monitor mount are just the right size so they, they don't rub against the heatsink. I installed my arm all the way towards the countertop surface and I'm very happy with the results. There is loads of adjustments in the angle of the oscilloscope. I can also rotate it but of course that's not something you will ever do with an oscilloscope. I can swing it back and forward as needed. I can have it uh, in the back when I don't need it and I can have all of this workbench space available to use for something else. And from the main arm adjustment I can swing it up and down all the way to the bench level if I want that, although to me it seems more beneficial to have it mid-air. Um, it's great, I'm very, I'm very happy with the choice I made with this uh, monitor arm, this particular model, and the weight doesn't, doesn't seem to be a problem with this. I adjust it and it just stays in place without any problems, although it does need a little bit too much force for adjustment, uh, which is a sign that the oscilloscope is too light. But the main issue we were concerned with is if it would stay in place and it, it stays, it's not a problem. Now if you're running a similar setup, this is the right choice. And I would love to hear from you in the comments below whether you like what I've done here and if you're already using a monitor arm with your oscilloscope, let me know in the comments. What I'll try to do is to link some similarly looking monitor arms from Amazon in the description below, so just to put you on the right track of finding something similar. That was all for me, just a short video describing this quick upgrade that uh, should improve working with this new scope on my workbench um, and it's a better use of space. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content ahead. Thank you for joining me and I'll catch you in the next video.